Let's take a look and see how we can create and send a fully fleshed out email message in one click. First, I'll demonstrate the one click email solution just so you can see what the game plan is. Next, we'll look at how to create an email template. So this is gonna serve as the message that we're going to send. We'll take a look at where these templates have to be stored, how to manually launch the templates, and then how to create a more automated solution by adding a launch button on the quick access toolbar. Be sure to take advantage of the code download available in the video description. This way you can implement the automated portion of the solution without having to write anything. So here's the scenario. You get an email message from someone, and it's the kind of email where it's the same question over and over and over, and you always have to respond with the same stock answer. But instead of hitting reply and writing all of that information again, wouldn't it be easier if we could go up to the home ribbon, but instead of starting a new email, instead go to new items? and then come down to the More Items entry and select Choose Form and get access to a template library. We'll switch to choose a template of our own creation, choose that template and hit Open, and now we have the fully fleshed out email message, full text, full formatting, with images and possibly even attachments. Subject line is filled in, the only thing we have to do is put in the To field. So for anything where you're creating a similar type of message over and over, let's create it one more time, or maybe even cannibalize one of the ones we've already sent, save it as a template, and then turn that into a one-click solution. Now a very important thing to keep in mind is when we create these template emails, they have to be saved in a very specific place. So on your PC, this is the path where those files have to be stored. Otherwise, they won't show up in that list of user-created templates. So that's gonna be the C drive, users folder and then this is the only part that needs to be different username this is going to be your login name of your account when you logged into the pc then app data roaming microsoft templates and actually you don't even have to worry about even memorizing any of this because when we go to create the template outlook is going to default to saving in this location you just need to keep in mind not to change this location Otherwise, the items won't show up in the dialog box. Now, when we get to the part of the one-click solution, there's going to be some VBA code involved. This is that code. Now, this is downloadable, so you don't have to write all of this. All you're responsible for is to copy and paste this into a very specific location within Outlook, and I'm going to show you exactly where that is. The only parts of this code we're going to have to change are the pieces here I have in yellow. Where it says class schedule, that's just the name of the macro, and that can be any name you choose. Login name, just as before, will be your login name for the PC to get to that app data roaming Microsoft templates location, and then whatever the name of the template is that you created. So let's get in and create that template file, test it, and then build the automation. Here we are in Outlook. Let's go up and start a new email message. And here you're going to fill out everything that you would put into the email except who it's going to. Now in the interest of time, I've pre-created one of these, so I'm going to open that file now. A lot of their students, when they're coming for training, they need directions to the training facility. So here I've written directions from some of the most common starting points for our students. So depending on what direction you're coming from, you'll pick the appropriate entry. But notice I also have an image in here. I've even included PDFs that have this entire list of instructions in PDF form in case the user wants to print this in a printer-friendly version. But I've also included some other PDFs like promotions to the YouTube channel and maybe our latest course schedule. So everything is in here except who it's going to. Subject line is included, attachments, body text, everything is here. We need to save this as a template. So we're gonna go up to File, choose Save As, and then right now you can see it's going to save this with a .msg format because that's the file extension for email messages. But I'm going to switch that to Outlook template. Now that did two things. One, it changed the file extension from .msg to .oft, so this is an Office template. But also notice it changed the save location. When we were saving it as an MSG file, it was saving it in our Documents folder. But now that I've switched it to a template, it's automatically saving it in that path that I mentioned earlier. C, Users, Login Name, App Data, Roaming, Microsoft, Templates. This is why I said earlier that you don't have to worry about knowing where this location is because Outlook knows where the location is. Just don't change the location. So we'll give this template whatever name you want to give it, in this case, directions to BCTI, and that just came from the subject line. So if your subject line is something else that doesn't really trigger your memory on what this template is for, feel free to change this in the file name. I'll go ahead and hit save, and then we'll just close and throw this email away.
Now, if somebody needs directions to the facility, instead of going up and starting a new email message and having to put all this information in here, or copy-paste it from an old email, instead we'll go up to New Items, then More Items, Choose Form. This opens the Choose Form dialog box. Now, this is a list of all the templates for the default Outlook objects. So I don't know if you realize this or not, but when you start a new email message, that's actually starting from a message template. Same thing for a contact template, or a task template, or a note template. Everything comes from a template. But we don't want one of the built-in templates, so we're going to hit this drop-down at the top and choose User Templates in File System. This will automatically switch back to that folder location. And here I can see directions to BCTI. I'll give that a click, hit Open, and all I have to do is fill in the To field. I'm going to close that. So tomorrow somebody else calls in, hey, I need directions to the facility. I go to New Items, More Items, Choose Form, switch to the user templates, pick the template, hit Open, and now we're off to the races. Now if you do this enough, having to go up to the New Items, More Items, Choose Form, switch the dropdown, hit the user templates, that's five clicks. Six if you count Open. Well, let's turn this into one click. Let's create a launch button on the Quick Access Toolbar that will automatically launch that template. We actually need to write a little bit of VBA code to do this. Here's the code that we need to put into Outlook in order to launch a template with a single click. Here's the text file download from the video description, and here's the code. So we'll take this code and we'll highlight it and copy it, Control C. Then in Outlook, we'll go up to Developer. Now if you don't have the Developer ribbon, then just take any other ribbon like the Home ribbon, right click, Customize Ribbon, and this list of ribbons on the right, if developer is not checked, go ahead and check it, hit OK, and then you'll have the developer ribbon. From developer, in the upper left, let's click the button that says Visual Basic. This opens up the Visual Basic Editor. In the upper left corner, where it says Microsoft Outlook Objects, right click and choose Insert Module. This will insert a module into the VBA Editor, and it is here where you want to paste that VBA code. So Control V. Now you can name the macro anything you like, but it's best to give it a name that describes maybe the template that it's launching. So in my case, I'd probably put something like driving directions. You can't have any spaces in the name. Now scrolling over in the code, here's the path to the template folder. So we're gonna take this portion right here and replace it with our login name. And then right here, the name you gave that email file when you saved it as a template. I believe I named that directions to BCTI. So here's our code. In the upper left, we'll click the Save button, close the Visual Basic Editor. It's always a good idea to test your macro to make sure it works properly before we spend the time creating the Launch button. In the upper left, we'll click Macros, and here we can see an entry for the Driving Directions macro. We'll give that a click, and the code has launched an instance of that email template we created. So here are all the driving directions, the images, the PDF file attachments, the subject lines filled in, everything's here. I'll close that and throw it away. We'll go back to the Home ribbon. Now let's create that button on the Quick Access Toolbar that's going to allow us to do all this in a single click. Now if you'd like a complete tutorial on customizing the Quick Access Toolbar, click the link in the upper right corner of the screen or in the video description for my earlier post on the ultimate guide for customizing the Quick Access Toolbar. First thing I'm going to do is relocate the Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. This allows me to see the nice name descriptions next to the buttons. So I'll hit the small down arrow next to the Quick Access Toolbar, Go down to More Commands. I'll switch this from Popular Commands to Macros. And here is my Driving Directions macro. I'll select that, hit Add in the middle, move that to the right panel. Now the icon in the name is not exactly inspiring, so we'll go ahead and modify that. So we'll pick an icon from the library. The list of icons is not exactly expansive, and it would have been nice to have like a little car or maybe a compass or something. But I'll go ahead and just choose this house. For the display name, this is the text that will appear next to the button. I'll just put BCTI Driving Directions. Hit OK. Hit OK. And now I've got a nice button here on my Quick Access Toolbar. And with a click, now all I have to do is put in the To field and hit Send. Now I realize at the very beginning of this video, I may have left you with the impression that we were going to have a one-click reply. The sad fact is that with Outlook, there is no button to reply to an existing email using a template. Templates can only be used in the creation of new emails. It would be nice maybe if up here next to reply and reply all, we had reply with template, but unfortunately we don't. So if I did want to reply to this email with the driving directions, I would have to go up, click our driving directions button, start a new email, 
and then maybe copy paste the user's email address into the to field. It would just be nice if we could reply using this template. Maybe if enough of us beg Microsoft for that feature, they might build it into a future version of Outlook. But until then, this is still a lot easier than having to rewrite all of this information every single time we want to send the same thing out. So that's how you can create an email template in Outlook to reduce the amount of repetitive work when you're sending the same message out. And if you'd like to take it to that single click level, don't forget to download this code from a link in the video description. And let us know what you think of this. Is this something you could use? And if you have been using it, how have you used it? Comment down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.